Hello and welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. Well, yes, you do have the right channel. You're on the, you're at the right place right now. Mama Sue's on the other side of the camera today. And I'm here, here. Here's the reason why. We have an event at our church tonight. It's an, uh, called a uh, primetimers banquet or, or dinner for 55 and older. And we both definitely qualify. Sue has made a pasta salad and uh, she told me you can make the dessert since we're doing we have we are supposed to bring a vegetable and a dessert so i'm going to do a dump cake now this is daryl the dump cake king has showed showed me or you may have seen me with him one time doing a dump cake so we're going to do replicate something that we've done with him before and uh it's easy guys you can do it, it and it's as simple as what it says dump you just pour me in a bowl Put the butter on it, put it in the oven. That's it. That's all you got to do, okay? And Don, and Daryl has a cookbook. Yeah, Daryl has a cookbook, and then it's about dump food. Is it on Miss Annie's page or yes, Daryl's page? Okay, it's on Miss Annie's, and it has all kinds of desserts, but it other it has real food. Too. What's Miss Annie's thing? Uh, Miss Annie's Home and Kitchen dot com. Miss Annie's Home and Kitchen dot com, and this is uh, Mama Sue's. Southern Kitchen. SouthernKitchen.com. So yeah. you can you can find us if you need to know that. Okay. Easy, easy, easy. I'm going to show you just a few steps. Okay. We'll start with a yellow cake mix. We're going to pour it in the pan. Not now. What do we do first? Pineapple. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> I don't have a script. We're going to put the pineapple in first. That's the reason Mama Sue didn't leave and let me do this by myself. Okay. We're going to do the pineapple first. Okay. Just... I'll show you what it is. It is just a crushed pineapple. Okay, it, this is not this is not even pie filling. Okay, just no. pr crushed. What pineapple. size is that, Harold? It's a big one. <laughs> Twenty ounces, one pound, four ounces. Okay, so we and you don't drain it. Don't drain it. I'm glad I'm glad I don't because I already poured it in there. Spread it out evenly. Uh huh. Try to get it all covered real good. And we did spray the nine by thirteen. A little bit before. Okay, had a little bit of like uh, uh, vegetable oil, vegetable spray, mm -hmm. like a pound. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, then we, this is a pineapple blueberry dump cake. Yes. On top of the pineapple, we're going to put two cans of blueberry pie filling. Okay, blueberry pie filling, and each, each of these are. These are one pound, five ounces. And one's a Duncan Hines, and I don't know what they're. They're both Duncan Hines. Yeah. Okay. So, and we're we're not going to mix it. So I'll I'll take and I'll sp I'll kind of spoon this out to try to cover half of it, and then we'll come back and do the other can to do the rest of it. If it you don't, I don't imagine you have to be as precise as pouring concrete, but. <laughs> Just get it in there. All, all you need to do, cover it up pretty good, and we'll we'll finish. Then we will do the cake mix, mm -hmm. and on top of the cake mix, we will do butter. We did. I think the one I did with Daryl, we did cookie, uh, sugar cookie mix, mix or dough. And it was delicious. Yeah. This this will be a little bit different, but the thing that Besides the, the taste of it, I like the consistency of the top when you use cake mix. It's a little gets a little bit of a crunch to it, or, or I guess you would say a little bit of a crust. So uh, we're going to put this in. I don't know when this will be on TV. I don't know, but this is this is actually Saturday, and we will we're doing this for church tonight. And one of the reasons Sue wanted me to do this, she's been busy all day. She's canned peas. She's uh, cooked uh, that, not cooked, but made that uh, broccoli, pasta. broccoli pasta. She canned some okra this morning. Those of you who haven't had a garden, it's work. You know, it's something all the time. And I, I fuss at Sue because she she doesn't stop. She goes all day long, and then she wonders why she's tired. <laughs> I told her, you got three reasons. Number one, you worked all day. 
Number two, you're years old. <laughs> and number three, you've had cancer. You're still getting over that. So, but she's she is quite the quite the worker, okay? So, you want to see that a little bit closer, what that kind of looks like? Okay. Spread out, spread out pretty, mm. pretty even. Okay, I'm going to put this right here. Okay. And then we're going to do the uh, cake mix. Now, I'm, I'm hope I can do this without it all falling out. I'm going to stir it up just a little bit in here. This. I love to watch you do, to see how you do things. I don't know. How would, you would just pour it? I would just um, take the bag out. <laughs> I'm you do it the way you want. You, it, you, it's your cake. Dump it. That's why it's called a dump cake. It is a dump cake. I'm going to dump it in the pan. If it's not even, you can lightly spread it with your fingers. <laughs> Oh, me. Let me get that floss and drop the whole thing in there. Mm -hmm. What'd you say? I hate it. <laughs> Take the bag out and spread it around. Just like this right here. It's just from experience. You have to do it exactly this way or it won't work. That's a lie. Okay, now I'm going to take this little red one and just kind of smooth it out. Sort of. Back and forth. Kind of like dragging the end food. I'm going to draw some lines on it. He is a coach, you can tell. He's thinking about a ball field. Scout, Scout you're some, not hungry. Scout. <laughs> okay, I think the more mm -hmm. I do, the so now, okay, we've got, got it pretty well spread out. Mm -hmm. all over. And we have two sticks of just regular butter, unsalted, no, no, salted. salted butter that we've got a little thing that you cut them with. And we're going to just spread them out kind of evenly across here, okay? I believe there's going to be 20, so you're going to try to. Two, three. Four, then it means we'll have five rows going. Mm -hmm. Talk math. One, two, three, four, which is row three, two, three, four, this is row four. And this last one, we're going to have to piece one together at the end because I broke one of the things. It's okay. Cutting them. It'll melt. Put this one, this make, we're going to make one out of three. See, so it tastes good. It's right. good, just like that. It's good. Now, okay. A dump cake, we're going to take this and we're going to put it in the oven 350 for about 40 minutes. Okay, we'll check it then. And then we'll come back. My hands are greasy, so I'm not going to show you putting it in the oven. But that's what we're going to do, 350 for 40 minutes, and then we'll see you in just a few minutes, okay? Hey, we're back. With our, our blueberry pineapple dump cake cooked for 45 minutes at 350. Right now, it's, it's still warm, and uh, it's a little bit, a little bit soft. And I really like, I like these two ways. When it's still warm like this, I like to eat it with uh, vanilla ice cream. Whatever brand you like. We like Blue Bell here at, at our house. Blue Bell Vanilla is my favorite. But I like a duck cake after it's gotten cold and you, you've eaten the first part and you've put it in the fridge and you come back and you eat it later. You eat it cold. Then, you, then I eat it without ice cream at all, okay? But we're going to take this one to church. I told you we're going to take it to church tonight for, for a banquet or a dinner that we're having. And I'm afraid <clears throat> there probably won't be any of it left to bring home to eat cold later on. But thank you for watching. Uh, I know this isn't rocket science, it's pretty easy, but you guys can do it. You guys can make one in, and you, they're all different kinds of pie, pie filling flavors that you can use. Cherry, uh, all kinds, you can find them in the store. So. 
I'm going to I'm going to play on on Mama Sue's words just a little bit. When uh, our grandson Bryce was up here a couple of weeks ago, he he was with her in one of her cooking videos, and she said, "Now Bryce, what does Gigi say every time at the end?" And he acted like he didn't know. She said, "Be be salt and light." And Bryce misunderstood, so he said, "Be salt and kind." So that's what we're going to end with today. So in honor of Bryce and. Uh, Thank you for Daryl for introducing me and about the, the dump cakes. But everybody, you be salt and kind wherever you go, okay? See you next time. Bye-bye.